Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video series presented by the ITVideos.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can prevent users from selecting some values or certain values from the combo box. In our example, we have the countries combo box where I have listed all the countries. Now, as you can see, if I hover my mouse, there are many countries listed and I don't want users to select this other countries. So the way we do that is I'll go back to my Dreamweaver. This is one of my favorite editors. Okay, now we go to the list values option here. And uh, for the United States, I have set the value under the value column as US. For Australia, it is AU and, and for other countries, as you can see, down here. Now for the other countries, I have not listed any value because I don't want users to be able to select this other countries. But in our form, now the users can select the other countries option and we don't want that to happen. So what we do is that we go to the code view and here we have the disabled. Okay, and uh, now if I just Let's say option disabled. Yep. And now if I save it and I go back to my form and if I refresh it, now as you can see, the other country is not getting the focus or just not getting the mouse. mouse uh, pointer right over it because this has been disabled and the way we do that is just by putting this small keyword here that the disabled in the option tag and that's it so that was as simple as placing the small keyword disabled here and this will be disabled it will be read only and the user will not be able to select it or do anything with it so if you want to have some headings or some you know values on top uh, to let users know what it is for. If you, for example, if you have placed this one as alphabetically, you can set that the countries are listed alphabetically or something of, of that sort. So now you guys, now you can just get the idea of where we are going. So it was just a plain, simple video and uh, I hope you liked it. And that there are a few more videos that I'm making and I'm in the process of making those uh, videos. So if you like this video, please leave your comments down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a good day.